Hey, good morning, guys. It is uh, Sunday, April 29th, and I'm getting ready now to prime the car. So you probably watched the previous episode and you saw how I built my temporary paint booth. The car is inside, all cleaned and ready for painting for the primer. Just the, uh, the last thing to do is I'm going to go inside now and wipe the whole body with uh, solvent and then uh, I'm going to come back out and I'm going to mix my epoxy primer. It's not commercial by any means but that's what I got, Raptor epoxy primer with hardener. So I'm not paid by these guys so it is not uh, advertisement at all. Just this is what I happen to buy. And I'm going to say it one more time just to make it clear. I've never painted before. I'm not a painter by any means. I watched a lot of videos during this last week. I think I learned a lot of things. But we will see. That's my first paint job. So please don't quote me on anything. Please don't uh, take my video as a how-to video. This is not how-to video. This is how I learn <laughs> how to paint videos. So if you want to learn how to paint better, go and watch. I'm going to put actually in the description some uh, links to some videos that I watched and they are extremely helpful. They give you the basics, they give you how, they uh, let you know how to set up your uh, gun, how to set up your spray pattern, how to, many things. It's so, so I'm just, just going to put links to the videos in the description below. And let me see what I can do. I'm sure it's not going to be the perfect job, but that's how you learn, right? There's always a first time. So, yeah, let's get going. Silicone wash, we use it a lot in the uh, upholstery. We clean our guns, that we spray glue with it, we clean uh, vinyl. So it's, it's nothing serious, that's why I'm not wearing anything protective because I don't think it's needed. But when I paint, of course, I'm going to be using a lot of uh, protective stuff. You see how dirty it is? So it requires a lot of clean. And uh, I'm guessing I'm not gonna shoot a complete video. I'm gonna make. A, I'm gonna set up a time lapse camera because, uh, like I said, I'm not professional, so there's nothing that I can and give us advices while I'm uh, working so I'm just gonna uh, I'm not gonna bother you with uh, watching me doing stupidities <laughs> anyways I might shoot a little bit of video but most of it is gonna be just time lapse I guess wiping so it's time to mix the paint I already assembled and cleaned my gun it was a brand new gun so I cleaned it because there might be some uh, protective uh, stuff on it I didn't find a smaller cup unfortunately I didn't have time actually to go look around for painting stuff so I just went to the hardware store and this is where they had there and uh, we're gonna mix the primer now. So this primer is mixed four to one with the hardener and it has a pot life of two hours. I'm not really sure how much, how long is it gonna take me because I'm, like I said, I've never sprayed before. 
So I'm going to mix just a little, maybe a quart. I'm going to use it and, I, if, and I'm sure I'm going to need more, of course, so I'm going to mix it later because I don't know how long it is going to take me. The flush time, flush off time between the coats is 10 minutes, which means 10 minutes after the first coat I can apply the second coat. But for me, I am sure I'm going to waste a lot of time spraying, so I'm going to do first the floor, and I'm going to do first the interior, the ceiling, the floor, and the dash and stuff like that. Then I'm going to do the exterior of the car, and then I'm going to do the doors. And I'm sure by the time I'm done with the doors, it's going to be time already to spray the interior again. So, mix 4 to 1. 4 to 1 is this one. I have 4 one, one here. When I go inside, I'm going to set up my pattern. I have a piece of cardboard, which is the box of the tent actually. So I'm going to set up my pattern, but again, I'm not going to show details because I am not a professional. If you want to know how to do that, check the video in the description. I'm wearing a mask so I don't know how well you're gonna hear me. So I did the first coat in the, on the interior, but I figured that it is really hard to do, the interior especially. And if I spray the outside now, uh, I'm gonna have troubles after that spraying the second coat of the interior because the problem is gonna be I'm gonna mess up the exterior with the holes. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to spray the doors now. I'm going to do a spray. I'm going to come back and do a second coat on the interior, maybe a second door on the doors, and then only then I'm going to start doing the exterior. This thing works fantastic. Believe me, there's absolutely no overspray here. I don't see any overspray. I'm happy. I'm really happy. All right, so it's time to mix the second batch, and now I know pretty much how much I need, because for one, what I mixed up so far was enough for the interior, almost two coats of, in of the interior, and the doors. So now I still have to do the, uh, to finish the second coat of the interior, and then do two or three coats on the exterior, but. We'll see, because I'm already up to here on the bucket, so I don't know. I just remembered I bought uh, those, these paint strainers, but I never used them, <laughs> I forgot. Anyways, it works fine so far, so that's just a primer, and it, since the gun is working well, I don't care. Alright, let's go do the rest.
right guys you know what i think it is there's no so much over spray inside so i think it's safe for you to come with me you want to join me yeah okay because i've done the interior already two coats of the interior and um, two coats of the door and i've done one coat of the bulkhead and now i start painting the exterior so I think that's going to be interesting. So you can watch me suffer. Huh? Okay, let's go set you up. Sorry, it's going to be noisy, but... Close your ears, wear your safety goggles, wear your masks, wear your everything, and let's do it together. Your card was full and you didn't tell me, so I don't know how much of that did you see, but I think I did pretty well. So that was only the first coat, of course, for the top. I think that was fine. One or two more coats. I see some spots that I missed, like inside here, this channel on this side of this lip or fund or whatever it is but uh, I think I did pretty well all right picture time let's take some pictures you want to have you want to have a picture with my car no problem five bucks come It's all done. I sprayed two coats inside and three coats outside. I think that's enough. You know I still have to do some welding on some areas, so I'm gonna have to strip it uh, where I'm gonna weld it. I'm gonna weld it and then I'm gonna spray it again and then I'm gonna go with, uh, I have a small gun and I'm gonna go in some areas where I missed. Like for example over there, just don't wanna mess up with the paint. Over there, there's some red areas inside, but otherwise, I'm happy. Um, it is a little bit orange peely, but I'm guessing that's normal. <laughs> I don't know. Of course, it's gonna be sanded many times, so I'm happy because I'm gonna do body work, and after the body work, I'm gonna I'm gonna sand it to probably. Uh, 600 or something like that and then I'm gonna spray uh, high build primer and I'm gonna sand that to probably 1500 and then only then I'm gonna spray the paint so I'm hoping that at the end of the day there's not gonna be any orange peel on the car at least I'm gonna try to and if I succeed that's gonna be a real miracle because my first paint job you know Anyway, so now we're gonna leave it at least for two hours to dry. I'm gonna go clean the gun first of all, and then I'm gonna take a little break. I'm gonna have, I'm gonna go have a coffee, smoke, and tonight I'm gonna celebrate with uh, beer. But I'm really happy. I wasn't expecting it to be so easy for me. All right, so. The gun is clean, perfectly clean as new. I have a locker thinner inside and the nozzle is inside because I want to make sure that the little holes, all the paint is gone from them. And that's it, now the 
take a break and, uh, while the car is drying and then the next part oh my god the next part is <laughs> I have to take this thing down so as soon as the car is dry I'm gonna take it out I'm gonna put it somewhere away and then I have to disassemble this whole thing so when I don't have my own shop I have to deal with things like that because I have to respect the place that I use right anyways let me take a break and I'll be back we know your time is valuable. Thank you for holding. Someone will be with you as soon as possible. All right, so it's time to take her out. Okay, here is she. I think she looks great. Again, it looks a little bit orange peely. Not looks, it is orange peely, but... <laughs> I think she looks great. I'm happy. So now... <laughs> We have to take this baby apart. Wow. frame so it doesn't take too much space and that's gonna be it Alright guys, so that's going to be it for today and I think for the next uh, couple of weeks until I finish the TR6. So now I'm uh, calm, I rela I'm relaxed, I'm not worried anymore about rust and anything, so now she can stay and she can wait until I finish the TR6. So. I don't know how many, 52, 53 episodes already and now unfortunately we're gonna have to put her on fold but you know what, it was, uh, it, I wasn't even planning to start on her so I'm lucky that I already got into this stage so I'm gonna put her on hold but it's not gonna be for long now I'm gonna rush and finish the TR6 so I can come back to her 